literally beg people to drop me off at here. The way uni boys can stress with hey. God. Hey. And the only you thing that you was do for you time, is you. just bring a fuck saxophonist to come and play all of me for your Valentine's. When I was in level 100, I was not going out. Mm. I was for the Lord. <laughs> level, level 200, the Lord was trying to pull me to a side. Satan was also. So. And level 300, Satan got to me. But I'm back to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> like, so today I have Matilda here with me. Most of you have been commenting, Gisela, you need to collab with Matilda. Gisela, you need to. Right now she's here. But like, if you don't watch this video, I'll come and look for you. <laughs> so, in today's video, we are just going to talk about our uh, experiences in uni. Mm -hmm. I completed in 2020. Uh, she's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm supposed to be your mate actually. I'm supposed to be your mate. I was just jumped along. You completed in 2020. Yeah. And you are supposed to be my mate. Yeah. That's like <laughs> when what year did you complete? 2023. What? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, I look no! like your mother, but no! she's my mother. <laughs> and oh that's my crazy. god, that's so crazy. Like that's actually well, what, so how many crazy. years were you in school for? Four years. Damn. Oh my god. I've never been that my I completed SGS in 2016 and I went to uni right I entered SGS in 2016. Oh my god. Oh my ah, god. Right? <laughs> yes. And I came to Lagos in 2019. Seriously. Seriously. That's what people are like. I completed in 2020. I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I have to respect Gisela. Oh my god. No, for real though. Like, ah. Okay, well, 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 well. We are from different generations, right? Mm -hmm. In school. Hey. No, 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 not like life yeah. generations, but like school years generation. Yeah. So I picked her specifically for this video because I want I want us to talk about the experiences so we can have some like different mm -hmm. you know experiences to talk about and it won't be just my mate or my the point of view of my mate. So mm -hmm. yeah, we asked our, on our Instagram stories for our people and friends on Instagram to send us questions. I think I'll have to put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. But they sent us questions to, to ask each other so we can have the full experience for you guys to know. Listen to and then you know experience it with us. I mean it's past and gone, but yeah. you still have the experience as you're sitting at home watching us. So I have a lot of questions here. Like I keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to and scrolling. Honest, and, oh my god, even... I'm still scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about this video, you guys. Same. I'm like I'm so excited about this video because you people love the SHS experience one. So I was like, why not? Let's just do it. You know my mom watched that video. She even told me. She was like, hey, I've been watching that video. It was nice. <laughs> mommy, ma ma mommy, I can too, but we love you. I love you so much. If you're watching this video, I love you. I adore you. Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> so I was I was in University of Ghana, Legon. She was also in University, University of Ghana, Ghana. Legon. Yeah. I studied business administration and majored in insurance specifically. So I studied economics and theater arts, majored in theater arts, and I just... I, I, I said economics, bye bye. Like, I didn't do that. So, what well, you had, like, the two, the, the combo. Yeah, I did level 100. Yeah, I had, so you know, level 100, you do like three courses. Yeah. Then they drop one as you go, mm -hmm. and then you have two. Mm -hmm. And then you can decide to, like, combine mm -hmm. till we finish. Mm -hmm. Or you can decide to do one more than the other one. Or you mm -hmm. can decide to do one and then stop. Stop the other one. But you can only do that stopping thing. Yeah. After level 300. Yeah, after so level 300. Yeah. The same with us business students. Mm -hmm. so, so, I, I dropped the economics. After level 300, so I only did theater arts in level 400. Basically. I totally understand. I hate economics. I hated <sighs> economics in SHS and I hated it in uni. And right now, you I did your Yeah, I did your cons. Are you SHS. serious? Yeah. As in, no, as in uni. Yeah. You did a cons yeah. in uni. Are you serious? Yeah, because I'm a business student. Ah, oh, so you did it for just look. I um, <laughs> oh my god, economics Everyone's is stressful. It's so difficult. I'm not it's a so math difficult. person, so I was even like, yeah. why would you guys? The thing about economics economics is that course. you know math is just numbers. Mm. Economics is numbers mm. and reading. So yeah, it's, it's just, just like, dumb. What, like what exactly? Is that? <laughs> you should grow up. <laughs> so somebody said, would you do it again if you were eighteen again? I think do it. Like, will you do school again if, if you I could go back in time? Again. Me, if I could go back in time, eh, 
I'll be in the womb of a rich person. And after I'm out <laughs> of the person's womb, I won't go to school. My thought that school is stressful. It's so fucking stressful. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. School is... And you know what kills me? Most people's lives, right, after school, mm-hmm. they don't actually do what they went to school to study. Like, they don't... Yeah. They, don't they are not in the field of what they studied. Like, Very true. I am a living... Testimony, yeah. Like because I I studied insurance, but mm-hmm. I'm in marketing right now. That's what I'm doing. I think the reason is like we are just pressured. Like we're not given enough time to pick what we actually want to do. We don't even understand the courses. Like I remember when I was, they were the same. She picked the courses, and I was looking at all these things. I was like, ah, like, like what's all this pressure? Like and everything is so fast. If you don't do it, there's a deadline. Yeah, yeah. So and I feel like that's actually a bad structure. Yeah. Like where the system is already bad enough. Yeah. Like they don't allow you to actually. Because it's a future decision. But anyway, me too. I went to get economics. I didn't even pick accounts, but I picked theatre arts. Mm. So when I got theatre arts, I was like very happy that, yeah. you know, they gave me that. What's the question again? Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> if you were 18, would you do it again? Hmm. I feel like because of the, some certain experiences, yeah. maybe. Because I feel like what you go through in life kind of shapes you. I'm being deep, yeah. but the school aspect, the learning aspect yeah. counts me out. Counts me as I'll never do that shit. Wasi, all that. I'll never do it again. Like never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. school school is stressful. I'm 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 not even going to that. It's just sad that the societal standards is for you to go to school actually complete mm-hmm. before you get a job to do. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't, then you're just going to be broken. Yeah, and that's just it. Apart from that, like I don't me school me. I don't know why you are going to school. I'm not even going to lie. Like what's the? There's no reason. It's just like we've come. Education is key. That's what they say. That's a key way here. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I wanted to ask, mm-hmm. were your parents supportive about the whole theater art idea? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Because my dad listens to movies. Like he's been a producer. Oh. So when I was growing up, was he was producing? He had a creative school where like he was teaching people like everything that had to do with the media. So news reporting. Um, what's the name? Dubbing, like radio dubbing, yeah. television, like how to write scripts and things like that. They had classes, they had That's teachers. So and stuff interesting. Like that. So my house is they are they are filled with creatives and yeah. like that. Like, yeah. so it's not weird. Like it's not like you must be a doctor because yeah. my dad himself is like a creative. Yeah. You know, he was into the arts, yeah. and my mom was also I would say into arts. Like she was a milliner, so she did like she used to do hats. I don't know if you ever heard of vacation hats and crafts and stuff. If you did, you're a real one. <laughs> but yeah, she used to like have that. So my house. We're not the conventional, like, yes. nobody was doing like a conventional, well, like, yeah, 9 to 5, no, thing. Thing. yeah, so. Well, that's so interesting. Mm-hmm. That's really, really interesting. It's crazy. Because um, before I went to SHS, I wanted to be an architect, right? Mm-hmm. So I chose visual arts in SHS, but <laughs> before I got to the school, my mom had changed my course to general arts, right? Ah, like without yeah. your permission? Actually, yeah, because oh, I was like, I was what, 14 or 13 at that time, so my mommy didn't think I had, mm-hmm. like, you know, I was old enough to make my own decision. Mm-hmm. She also said, architect, you know, like, Ghanaian parents, they have this whole idea mm-hmm. of things, professions that people should venture yeah. in. So she was saying architecture is for men mm-hmm. and it's not for women. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't allowed to take that part mm-hmm. in life. And I actually wanted to go to KNUST. And then my, I've never seen an university form in my life. My mom bought the so and she filled, filled it. Everything. Yes. Wow. And then, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Girl, I'm telling you. So when I, when I started uni, I didn't know anything about business because this is somebody who was, who studied general mm-hmm. arts. And in US, just, I did elective math, mm-hmm. ICT, accounts, and then geography. Hey, this combination there, yeah, that's exactly. crazy. Exactly. And now I'm in school and I'm doing business. So level 100 was tough. tough like, it was crazy for me. I didn't know anything. So for me, the reason why economics was even harder was because I didn't do e-math. You did oh, e-math. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So without e-math, yeah, you, you struggle a bit. Yeah. Trust me. Like, they teach a course like you already know what you Yeah, and I remember in level 100, I was like, I didn't do EMAP. And apparently, it was even a mistake like for them to give someone who didn't do EMAP because you are not yeah. supposed to be part of, like, you're, yeah. you're not part of the criteria of people who can so do it. So, why did they select you? And <laughs> hey, we're living in a very weird this system. country. Did they ever question you? Do you know what question means? I know. Did they ever question no. you? No. Me too. I've never experienced that, so. Hey, but that would be so scary. I had crazy stories in school though. Me but too. it never happened to me. It never happened. Like, was crazy? Because even I had a... She wasn't a friend, but like, we went to the same high school. Mm-hmm. And she was even in the news and everything. Like, they literally... I don't remember what they did to her, but they attacked her. And like, she was really hurt, injured and stuff like I that. I had like, people beat people up, take their phones, take their laptops. Especially, you know, um, from from Ivandi to Pent, yeah. that road at night. <laughs> I heard it's very, TF. very scary. Yeah, it's TF. What's <coughs> going on? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, this person cried. What's up? He said, <laughs> "Did they ever crush us? Yeah, hey. they ever crush you? Hey, God forbid. I'm looking glad they didn't. Me too. I would have died. Me, I just cried. <clears throat> you come to question me. What do you want me to do? I'll cry and beg you. 
You me, I'll just leave the thing for you. Like I won't fight. <laughs> yeah. I can't fight. Yeah. I'll just let it go seriously because my life is more valuable like than what I come to take. Exactly. Just take it and go. Like before because I feel like how would they come? They will come first like holding the weapon to threaten you. Ah. I'll throw it at you. I'll throw it at <laughs> you. Run, 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 run. Run. <laughs> Just go. And because of Yo. that, I wasn't walking yeah. around like on campus at night. Mm. I was always scared. So it's either I'm with a friend or I use the campus mm. taxi. Somebody said, were you seen as a celebrity in school? Ah. No, me, I was, I started influencing mm, after school, one. yeah. Mm, yeah, I don't, I didn't start later on. Like I was still in school when everything mm. was happening. Ghanaians are too known. Like yes. they know they they yeah. know you, but like they are not gonna be like. Even, I mean, some of them. See, even most of me, them. if I meet a celebrity, Jackie appear to your pass. <laughs> <laughs> you see, guys are very true. Yes. Me. Okay, I me. Mean, if I also see a celebrity, I will just see the person. Like, yeah. The funny thing is, people think you don't know that you like you, you can see that they know you, but yes, like yes. you just play it cool because it's like me. I can always tell, and half the time it's always my friends that are able to spot it. Like, yes. my friends would be. I don't even know what they are looking at. They be like, this girl just mentioned your name. Your name. Like she's got spit about. They it. always and like, to their friends that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just like. <laughs> but the funny thing is, when you're in school, the outside world is very different mm-hmm. because now that I'm no longer in school and I'm an influencer, of course, like everywhere I go to. I find people who know me, mm-hmm. so and they are not shy to approach me. I, I think you. that kind of shyness and you know thing is just in school. Yeah. But in the outside world, like real world, mm-hmm. somebody can just come up to you and tell you, "Are you Gisela?" Yeah. So I went to the bank today. The teller was asking me, "Am I Gisela?" I Every time I go to the bank, this thing happens to me. <laughs> no matter the bank I go to, it always happens to me. But people are not shy to approach me. And I think it's also crazy. Sorry for cutting you. I think, no, don't I think it's crazy that like the older people that watch your channel, yes. like, you won't realize. Yes. Sometimes I'm like, huh? <laughs> what are you doing here? Like, <laughs> like, like. Well, every time I meet, I'm like, hey. So you really watch me on YouTube? Yeah. Like, are you serious? Like, like, yeah. People are not shy to approach me in real life. Earlier yeah, this year or mid year, I went to campus mm-hmm. to do something. I think I went to the bank and I was mm-hmm. supposed to go and take some passport pictures. And one girl actually came up to me. She said, "Oh my God, Gisela, I was just watching your vlog." And I was like, "Oh, thank you. Oh, that, was so <laughs> that was so cute." And I was like, "Okay, maybe if I do." Go to the gun mm-hmm. one time and then people will see maybe they would like maybe to approach me. Yeah. But I, I mean you never know. I mean some people did, but no my my classmates of course not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like my course mates. Yeah. Some people did, especially Pence Hall Week. Yes. That was like I feel like also because it was more open, it wasn't really like a school day. Yeah. Like, it was more like so that people one from people, outside people from outside, outside but nobody was treating me like a Celeb, like, no, no, I don't no, know we don't treat say, anybody like, like no. especially in a crap. You know, we don't treat anybody like a celeb. Don't <laughs> ask your celebs. Yeah, I said your friends will be teasing you like, hey, celeb, celeb. Yeah, celeb, but nah. you don't treat anybody like a celeb. You know, everybody's a celeb in this region. Seriously, dating in different hostels. How about this one? <laughs> the hostel, why? How far is it? <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe, maybe you were in the hostels and your boyfriend was at diaspora. I don't think I've ever experienced that mm. because when I was like dating somebody who was in my school. We were all funny enough, like uncoincidental. Mm-hmm. We were always in the same because first we were in TF together mm-hmm. and then we both moved to Pins. Make sure you guys didn't sit down and plan and take. You TF, know what? Yes, TF, hey, TF. let's go to TF no, next Trust me, next we, didn't, we didn't plan anything. <laughs> trust me, we didn't plan anything. So I, I don't, I, I can't speak on that. Like, I mean, yeah. I don't, what about you? You didn't no. need to go to school. Me, ah, let me see. I don't remember my exes, first of all. <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, no, the person I was dating in school was not in my school. Mm-hmm. He was in a different school. So. Yeah, actually, yeah, he was in it. all the people I did. Hey, I've seen all, like, I dated 10 people. I there go. <laughs> my, my ex wasn't in the same school <clears throat> as me. And also, for those of you who were not in Legon, right, you had hostels in the back of the school. Mm-hmm. So that's Pence, then you come back to Ivandi and TF mm-hmm. and Bani. No, in fact, you go to Ivandi and Bani, then you come to TF. That's like the far end of the school. And then you go for it to the diasporas. So the diaspora is... Don't forget the traditional halls. Yeah, and there are traditional halls in the middle. (laughs) So those are the Kuafu... um, Legon Hall. Legon Hall, yes, Volta Hall. Yeah, those ones are in the middle. And then the far end has the diaspora. That's Mm -hmm. like Elizabeth C, Hilary Mann. There are four, I don't remember the last ish. Ish. Ish, is yeah, yeah, Ish like is the international student. Very close to that. Yeah, it's like in between the diaspora and, and the, the traditional host. Yeah. So that's how the legal structure is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, Who is your favorite exchange student? And like the person who said this, I was my crush. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was crushing on him. Was, was, like, was he an exchange student? Yes, he was. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me show you his face. Let me show you his face. Do you understand? 
What? Do you understand? <laughs> huh? Like, is it real? He is so real. I understand you. I understand you. I was just like, community here. Mm -hmm. I understand mm -hmm. you. And so the person said private housing and campus housing, which is better. We are. I was campus. always on, on campus. campus. Yeah. I was, what, always, what was I was in um Ivandi first. Mm -hmm. No, Bani first in level hundred and two hundred, and mm -hmm. I came to Ivandi three hundred, four hundred. Okay, so you yeah. were literally at the. Yeah, I didn't want to be at Pent. At Pent. Because I felt like Pent was too intrusive. Like everybody That's at Pent has something going on, and, and has like, some, and everybody's in your business. Every time you hear something about some somebody on campus, the person is at Pent. <laughs> so I was like, nah, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Like, please. And Bunny was very, Bunny was very quiet and calm. Mm. It's like everybody's minding their business. Yeah, mm. it's like it's like um, an estate mm. where everybody's in their room. They're not mind. They're not talking to yeah. you, but you don't have to talk to them. Mm -hmm. And Ivandi, oh my God, they used to smoke at Ivandi every day. Ah, ah God, they also used to have pen. Ha, ah, fro. Which pen is block B? Matod, I've never smoked weed in my life, but I know <laughs> what it smells like. <laughs> ah, that's actually wild. Oh no, why not? Why you high? Not because you are smoking directly, because somebody is doing it. Like, do you understand? Ah, are you fucking? Ah, okay, I just understood what she said in she because you know I'm bad at yeah. you. Yeah. I just decoded it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, Ivani was crazy. Somebody is always smoking. Ah! So, Bunny, they were not really smoking like that. No! I feel like Bunny, they respect themselves mm -hmm. to even go and smoke outside. But Ivani, matter on my floor, you don't know who That's is crazy. doing it, but like, you can smell it mm -hmm. inside your room. That's actually crazy. But like, yeah, it was the same as at, at um, Pent. When I was in level 100, I stayed in TF. Mm. And we were eight in a room. Yeah. Do you understand? Eight in a room, why? We were eight in a room. Wait, class is it standard? Or yeah, standard. People... We were what? eight in a room. Standard. And people were perching. So we, we were like, how big was the room? Twelve. They, they turned the steady room into a room, bro. It was... This is the most ghetto shit I've ever was... <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're eight two. But no, wait, no, that's that's that's, purchase. Purchase. that's what you're not getting. So we were like maybe two bang nine. beds, bang beds. Oh eight. my god, yeah, we we're eight in a room. This is so depressing. Was, to listen to. I was so depressed in the one hundred. Oh. Like, like I feel like because it ruined my expectation of uni. Yeah. Because I wanted to go where like I knew okay first maybe first year I'll do like four in a room or something. But like eight in a room was so crazy for me, and I was also <laughs> in TF crazy. on top. I didn't want to be in TF. I wanted to be, I actually wanted to be in Pence because, mm -hmm. like, my friends and everybody, we all planned yeah, like, yeah, to, to be in Pence. But why were you not there, though? I didn't get it. You know, oh, Pence is Yeah, Pence is, yeah. So I didn't get it. But thankfully, level like, 200, I was like, I'm going to Pence. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it. Thankfully, I think I was in Pence from level 200 to the level 3. I don't know. So, yeah, to answer this person's question, I moved out of campus, I think. Mm -hmm. In, when I was in level 300, I don't really know if I was in 300 or I was in my final year. But like, which is better? If you don't have a car, I would say be on campus. Be on campus. Yeah. Being on campus is kind of better because you won't spend much on transport. You will. The taxi drivers will cheat you. Yeah. They will cheat you. Trust me, because they'll tell you from you. Do you, know, do you know how much it is now? How much you know is back that? then it was like five CDs. It was five CDs when I was in school. It's like nine CDs now. Nine what? CDs. I'm serious. From I'm telling you, you like from pens. To JQB, you what? Like nine cities. So just you, walk. What can I be like? Pen to JQB is like being at a crown mall. Like where ah, I'm trying to look for how to show them. Yeah, no, no. Let's say um, gate one, then to the MTN. It's what, the, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's literally. Like, yeah, it's like you are at, at, you are the mall, right? A crown mall, and then you are at gate one, and, and you're going to and you're taking yeah. it to you're taking to, you're going to the casino or where the, the MTN, MTN offices. offices yeah. That's how far Pen is from JQB. 90s or 80s. 80s. I hope I'm not wrong, but yeah, seriously, it's it's actually it's crazy. So yeah, I think if you don't have a car, I wouldn't advise because it, it's also time. Like you'll be late for class all the time. Yeah, I, have I don't know. Like still people, I, when I was on Twitter, people were complaining of being shy to take bicycles to school. <laughs> okay, that one be yeah. I can't like. Me, I will not. I will not have it. I won't do it, but I'll advise you to do it. <laughs> no, for real though, because like sometimes you have to be realistic. Mm. You know when you're in school. Your reality is different. Mm -hmm. Your the way you think is mm -hmm. different, and then when you come outside to the real world, you don't care about some certain things anymore. Yeah, it's true. It's very because true. ah, everything that you people care about in school, you will start caring about soon. Like I feel like it's a phase. Mm -hmm. 
you have to like you will experience that in life as you go. Yeah. But when you are older, you realize that so many things are so unnecessary. Like, like why are we bothering ourselves so much about this? It's true. It's actually so true. many things that when I was in school, <clears throat> I wouldn't want to wear just anything to be on campus. Mm. But now, now as I have my own place, that I'm paying my own rent. Eh? If I'm to go outside to run an error, I don't give a fuck what somebody thinks about. Who are you? It's actually true, yeah. Like who are you? I, I'm talking about outside my house mm. or two. Let's say the mall to buy something or like just go and grab a quick lunch somewhere. Mm. I'm not talking about same campus that you're seeing the same hundred people, people every day. Every day. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care because I feel like I'm at the point where those things don't matter to mm-hmm. me anymore. I you know, know what I, mean. I can offer myself, like yeah. so I don't have to care about somebody else. But when you're in mean. school, when you're in school, I feel like it's also just like <laughs> I don't even know what to say. School is just it's it's a, it's a stage, like you said. Like, Most people are teenagers, so exactly, and you are like getting to it, like and you are also becoming full into your womanhood. Mm-hmm. So it's, I feel like it's also a sensitive yeah. like place or space and the men over there are also even more immature hmm. so you are dealing boys. with like we'll get to that i'm later. sorry but like most of <laughs> you are dealing with like very excuse me to say immature guys yeah because i feel like women grow faster than men yes. like yes mentally and even like with looks i'm sure they'll come for me but you guys let's be honest like, <laughs> seriously sometimes you boys are so... the things that they can hold you for the things they can laugh at you for like even within like even in relation to like sexual things and all of that, I'm like, why are you even doing? Like, come on, are you also not doing the same thing? Why are you trying to make why are you trying to make fun of someone? Why are you trying to call someone a whore? Why are you when, trying to when do you t- are when you are twenty and then you are like let's say when you're in your early twenties, you start to realise that if somebody calls you a whore, you don't care, like yeah. it's not a big deal. And so what? I'm a whore and so what? You're also sleeping with people's girlfriends, people's mothers, you're not complaining, you're come to call me a whore. Like be F F R. Like some of those things, when <laughs> I think about them, I'm like oh, Yeah. Man. Sometimes I think about how people used to say certain things to me in school and it would be bothering me. Oh my mm-hmm. god, what hey. But now so it's just what to say the economy. <laughs> <laughs> be F F R please. You don't be after after a while, like but I understand you will be worried because it's a face, as I said. It's just like trying to tell a teenager to be more mature emo- yeah. emotionally. Mm-hmm. It won't happen. They won't understand you until they experience mm-hmm. it for themselves. Mm-hmm. But like as you grow, you people will understand. I'm even like I'm talking I'm talking to I'm I'm talking to um those of you who are like in SHS or like those of you who are in uni still, the early stages of uni. You will stop caring about certain things when you complete. Even in level four hundred, you realize that when I was in school, mm-hmm. level hundred, somebody was wearing serious makeup to class. Are you serious? Matilda, I'm doing, I'm she was doing bridal eyes. makeup. She was doing blue eyeshadow, contour. At that time, that we didn't know how to wear makeup, but we didn't know how to. Are be you blend. serious? Do you know I've never I used to so when I enter uni and people were not wearing makeup, I was like, ah, then those Nigerian movies they really exaggerated. But tell that they did not exaggerate it in my time. <laughs> and I'm telling you that it's usually the early classes, so mm-hmm. like early lectures. Yes. I'm like, what time did you wake up? up? <laughs> <laughs> what time did because some of us we use 30 minutes to get ready so we can catch the shuttle. That's but you crazy. you are Blue oh eyes. That's one thing I love about TF though, the shuttle. Yeah, the shuttle. There was, there was a shuttle to Abani and Ivandi. Pens, but no like, shuttle, you're paying all that money. Ah, it's crazy. Me, they wake up, they shocked me. And then uh, that's what I'm saying that after you're out of school, if you're a makeup girl and then you go to school, you want to be doing face beat every day to class. When you complete school and you come into the real world, you realize that, Charlie, when I started my national service, mm-hmm. I used to wear makeup to work. Mm-hmm. And mind you, I was going to work around 5 30 a.m. So, I meaning we used to go. I'll wake up at 4 so I can get my makeup done because, oh, fresh graduates, like, you know. But then now, you yeah. never do that. I even wear slippers to work. <laughs> Wait, so you used to, you used to wake up I used to wake up at 4 a.m. to wear makeup to to work. Because, oh, I thought... Why don't you wear makeup? No! <laughs> <laughs> because I thought, you know, you watch all of these movies mm-hmm. about corporate, yeah. and like, oh, I'm a corporate girl, da, 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 blah, blah. And I was working at an insurance company. That's why I did my national service. So, I'm like... Now that I think about it, I'm like, Gisela, why were you doing this to yourself? Man, you wake up, you are so tired. Yeah. Even right you. now, today, if you talk to go and wear makeup, I won't do it. Like, it's so stressful for me. That's what I'm talking about. But <laughs> then again, it's a face mm-hmm. you like to enjoy mm-hmm. because me, I enjoyed it. That's why I'm talking about it right now. Yeah. So I'll get stories for my children, like, yeah. and all of that. So that's fine. But if you want to take my advice, you can take it. You just realize that after a while, you just get over a lot of things. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Any annoying roommate experience? <laughs> me, my eight in a room. Let me not lie. Like that was the most <laughs> annoying time. No, but eight in a room is crazy. Like it's so. Cr- I feel. I feel. It was so like. It was chaotic. Like everybody, 
it was just annoying noise when I'm sleeping. Like that was the most annoying part. Like I'm I'm out like I'm sleeping and you guys are making so much noise and it's always the pictures too. Like I hated that. I hated that thing. Like don't do it. Have you been in a room where like you are trying to sleep and people are having sex on the bed? No. <laughs> <You've been laughs> My roommate, she never used to leave the room. That thing was so annoying for me. Like she never used to leave the room. No. But why did you want her to leave the room? <laughs> like I want privacy too. Like she was always. No, there. this is so no. crazy. Eight in a room. No, 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 no. My like, well, how many? Two how in a room. Finally. How are you in a two in a room when you want privacy? Matilda, no, let's keep it. Like no, I love her. It. Trust me, she's watching this video. I love her so much. But like she just never left the room. That's the, that was the, she, the only. Just want that was the only problem I had with her. Like mm. she was always indoors. Literally, she didn't party. She, she got her first class though, I and mean, yeah, yeah, of course she would. But <laughs> <when> she went, <laughs> but like it used to worry me because yeah. like I just sometimes I just want to be like when I'm when I'm the way I give her her privacy when I'm not in the room. Mm. I also want her to do that for me, but she would never. Did you ever talk to her about it? No. Mm. I just used to hint at it like, hey, so you go out. <laughs> Don't you want to get some fresh air today? Like, <laughs> thank God, even when she goes out for like five minutes mm -hmm. to go and buy something, she's like, well, I'm going to buy this God. I'm going to buy this. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so I'm alone. I don't know me. I really like my privacy. Like, yeah. I love to be alone. Like, in as much as I like my friends and all that, I've noticed that I'm the type of person who, like, I love to be alone. Like, I can be home alone. I'm fine. Like, I'm, I'm happiest yes, when yes, there's yes, no one around. Me too, like, yeah. So... I think that was what it was. It wasn't like she was annoying me or anything. Yeah. It was just like and I crave. You were the drama. drama, and it's funny because like I used to sh all that time I was sharing a room with, my, like, with Mahalia before like yeah. we we moved to like our own place and stuff. Like I used to share a room with her, so it was like, I, why are you craving? Like you've been sleeping with your sister, and your sister, and there's no privacy. So what's up? Oh, you know she went to SHS. Oh so, yeah, so you started experiencing mm, that for like just a year. So maybe that was what that was. Yeah. This question, dear. No, so did you ever cheat or copy in an exam or an I? Yes, she. Media, I was doing it. You won't cheat. You won't fail. Hey, media, come on. Media, I've come not I've not graduated yet, so let's skip. Why? <laughs> no, but for real though, I is um exams. Yeah, if I if you get the chance to cheat, cheat. I don't know if your lecturers will be watching this video. <laughs> don't tell them I told you. Matilda, if you don't cheat, what will you do? No, me, I'm but, still in school, technically. But, 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 for real, but for real, though, like, as you mean you've studied so hard for mm -hmm. the paper, and you know mm -hmm. they, they, they are not asking the questions you studied for, what will you do? Hmm. You'll be a lady? in a tough spot. But I, I, you know, guys don't cheat. Like, study <laughs> hard. Like, you can do this, okay? My dear, you can do this. If the person next to you is writing, pull your neck and look at it, right too. Don't be sitting there, it's like your parents are paying school fees for a reason. <laughs> Somebody's asking, was it like Gornish? Hmm. No, I've never watched Gornish. I've never watched Gornish, but you're in for a ride. <laughs> uni, uni is nothing like what you people have been watching on TV, I'm telling you. The lecturers complain when you miss class. Lecturers never they don't care. care. Like, they don't give a fuck about Especially you. in Lagon. It was a very... They don't care about you. They don't you. care, trust me. They don't care. Nobody your cares. lecturers, they don't care about you. Your TAs don't care about you. They don't care. The thing is, in uni, you know how um, JHS and SHS, you are forced to learn. Mm -hmm. You need if you don't yeah, know. Yeah, no guys. So my camera went off, yeah. kind of, and then I don't remember where we ended. I know I'm going to see it as I'm editing, which is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to just like continue everything. Somebody is asking, how did you balance school with partying and stuff? Were you going out a lot in school? Of course, really. I used to go out every Friday, like every Uber. single Friday. Yeah, but but you know the funny thing when I was in level hundred. I was not going out. Mm. I was for the Lord. <laughs> level, level 200, the Lord was trying to pull me to a side. Satan Satan also, so, and level 300, Satan got to me. But I'm back to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> level oh 300, my God. And I was going out every Friday. Oh my God. Like, every I was single always, Friday. With my friends. Okay, I wasn't going out that Every Friday, I was looking for an outfit to go to Bloomba. What do you mean? <laughs> Bloomba. 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 The way Bloomba scarred me in uni. <laughs> Really? At that place, I don't, I would never step on for day. Oh, why? Fuckers. <laughs> they were the best real. That thing that they used to do, segregating, it was bouncing. Their whole line oh, yes. was like, worry me. Mm. And that time, like, I didn't know my worth and shit. So, yeah, I was looking at <laughs> I didn't know my I was looking, I was looking <laughs> at Bray, like, mm, who is this one? Like, yeah. stand over there. You never catch me. You never do that nonsense to me again. I'm telling you. <laughs> As you are watching me, lion, I'm looking you in the eye. <laughs> 
Bro, I'm sure he even still works there. <laughs> oh, he has left the country. I saw the hey, yeah. So where is he? I don't even know. So where everybody knows you. Why? <laughs> Yeah, but no, it was so it serious. Was easy. Every Friday, my friends and I were looking for an outfit to go to Bloomba. Like that was our sports. That was. Our I, you know, I think that your time you really enjoyed the uni experience. Mm. I did because we had COVID. You know, after oh, COVID, everything was yeah. was sports. Oh my god! Yeah. Right now, uni is not even like. The funny thing is, um, the year I completed was when COVID hit. Yes, yes. So <laughs> we didn't have whole week. We ha- I only experienced so you've whole never week. been. T- oh, you've been once, to like the proper proper whole week yeah. once. There oh, was no. I experienced it wasn't even pent whole week. Was it re- no? It was some um, hey pent whole week. Pent whole week. Whole week just was. Like, tell that. Do you know what happened to me at pent whole week? I got drunk. Like I got so mommy. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I got so drunk that I was carried out of the place. What? <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, that's that's how how bad. Bad. my first whole week was. That was my first time trying alcohol. Mm. That night, my friends crazy. had to put me in bed. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, you know, I, wish, I wish I had such experiences. Because honestly, as you are young, I feel like you have. When you are younger, you 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 are allowed to to make to mistakes and do things. Yeah. Honestly, when you grow up, when you start growing up, you can't do certain things. Now you can't catch me drunk anyway. Hey, like <laughs> imagine <laughs> the guy is allowed to ah, ah, out of him. Oh, please, you can't like that. You will never <laughs> catch me. <laughs> so I I think that's one of my regrets. Like I'm sure somebody will ask that question. Like, what did I regret? I me, mean, I feel like I didn't really I didn't really live my university life to the fullest. Also because like I don't even want to get into that, but like I was kind of like doing oh I'm in a relationship I'm trying to be a Kind. That's why you have to break up your boyfriend before you just be single. Go to school. And it's not even like because I wanted to be involved with guys or whatever, but like my relationship was kind of like oh, so it was like I wasn't like allowed to do certain things. We're not going to get into that today. <laughs> but like trust me, I said now it's a new me. It's a new life. Her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. So like all those things, like I didn't. I feel like I didn't really have. The full uni experience, like I wasn't really at parties, like, I wasn't drinking in uni. I started drinking properly, mommy. Yeah, I started <laughs> drinking properly yeah. after uni, like last what? year. Last year in uni, I'll say, and that time I was in. And my last year in uni, I wouldn't even say I was in uni because I was off campus. I was barely in school. I was only in school when I had class. So like, there was no uni experience for me. I drank in honest. school so much that now I don't drink anymore. You know. And we're about to change. Guys, <laughs> yeah, go watch my channel for the video. <laughs> we, hey, look, I drank so much in uni. It's so crazy how now I've decided I don't want to be an alcohol girl. Like, that's why I me, mean. my principle in life is to enjoy every face. Like, mm. don't say, mm, I don't want to do, do this. this. Yeah. You regret it. Yeah, it's true. Enjoy something so that when you're older, you're like, ah, I've been there. Be yeah, better than that. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> like, see, do every, when you go to school, don't be indoors. Break up with that boyfriend of yours before you get to the, the staircase of your uni. I enjoy agree. life. Enjoy. Go on a date. Be single. Yes, that's one thing <laughs> I wish I. I wish I went on multiple yes. dates. Yes, I wish I like men. Yes, them. I think it's important. I'm because not gonna as, lie. you know what, as 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 much as you experience them, you get to know yourself better mm. and what you would settle for, what you mm. wouldn't settle for. Yeah, you don't just meet one person and just like blown away because oh my god, he <laughs> wants me. Yeah. for Valentine. Like, I agree. BFFR. I agree. I feel like BFFR. being young, you have the you have the chance to just kind of like make mistakes. So yeah, experience men. That's that's something I wish. Imagine I did going to that. uni and being being with one like dating just one guy. Do you understand? Hey, the four years of your life. Oh my god, girl, come on, like wake up. That's me. <laughs> Wake up! Was me, yo! Nah, nah, like if you. Mahalia is now with school, uni, right? Or she's still she's in her final year. Please tell her to just. Like, but she's not even in a relationship. So yeah. Mahalia is living the life I wish I lived. <laughs> because how are you in school and then you are just stuck with one man? Eh? One man that he's not even like. And he'll be stressing you. The way uni boys can stress with hey, God. Every day somebody was crying in the hostel because like, their boyfriend is stressing here. And yeah. the only you thing that you was do for you, time, you is know. just bring a fucking saxophonist to come and play all of me for your Valentine's. Some people didn't even experience that. <laughs> ah! They said they, they were not, um, they, they don't believe in Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day and those things. Oh my god. Yeah, I have some experience, but we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> <laughs> Men are what? That's trash. I don't believe in Valentine's Day. I don't believe in this. I don't believe in that. Okay. I don't Please, like, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there. Just come out. <laughs> you don't believe in what? 
Do you remember asking you in a serious relationship? I was. I just answered this. Yeah. Like, me, yeah, I was. Me, yeah, I had a mix. So I was in. A, I was in two serious relationships in uni. But trust me, I still enjoyed life in school. <laughs> level hundred. I was dating someone. We broke up in level two hundred. And I think I started dating again in level three hundred. Mm. And then we broke up. So four hundred. Actually, my last year in school was very depressing because of one foolish boy. Mm. Very depressing. Most of you really know the story. It was like. It was so depressing that I couldn't go for lectures. I Are stopped, you serious? Yeah, I stopped going for lectures. Like, it was so depressing, right? But I'm not even going to lie. It means in school, I enjoyed being in a relationship. I enjoyed being single. I enjoyed depression. You said I enjoyed. <laughs> but I they shape you. They shape you because really? we went on, you cannot take me for an idiot. As you're taking me for an idiot, me talk, do it. Talk, and do you know I was saying about the last about time that I'm but so glad that me, they took me for idiots when I was, was 19. Yeah! Imagine being 30! And they are taking me exactly. exactly, exactly. That's that's one exactly. thing I will never condone. Exactly, yeah. Like, yeah. don't let that thing happen to you. Like, yeah, yeah. Allow if they want to fool with you. Like, you should be fooled with. But if yeah. they want, to, let them fool with you when you. But are after dressed. you're done, oh, hey, as a woman, pa, there's somebody still. You are still in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh. Oh. Mm, I crazy. have to laugh. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything to say. I just have to laugh. And they'll be telling you lies. Manipulation. They are there. You are being manipulated. I know oh. it sounds like victim blaming, but you two, you should be fucking for real. Did any lecturer ever give you a hard time? Um, and no, me. I didn't like talking to the lecturers. Yeah, so I was just too shy to talk to them. In uni, I was always the girl who would want to sit in the back, mm. so the lecturer would never see her face. That was me. Oh, me level hundred. I wanted to be at um course rep. I was a course course rep actually. Really? And I said never again. It was horrible. Hey, they worry you. Yeah, yeah. they worry me. But you too, why? Why do you want to be a cross rep? Because I felt like it would make me serious. Oh, girl, come on. But you within you, you are not serious, but you want. To, <laughs> but you want to be a cross rep, so it's like you have to, like the teachers, the lecturers know you. See, trust me, if you are a cross rep, because level hundred, my grades were superb. Like mm. because I was serious, like, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm the cross rep. I have to send an example. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I said no way. I'm never doing this nonsense again. Oh me, I was always in the back in class, but at Bloomba, you see me in the front. <laughs> You're gonna see me there. When you enter, you see Bloomba. her. Ah, this girl, she's How always here on Friday. Like, every Friday, you see this particular light skin girl, it's me, yeah. I'm very shy. <laughs> Bloomba. Bloomba was actually... Bloomba is such a university experience. Like, yeah! Yeah! Like, I don't think it feels the same anymore. You know what? Now, when I, whenever I go to Bloomba... It just doesn't give. It doesn't give. It doesn't anymore. give like it was giving in uni. Like yeah. now I just go there, I want to go back home. Mm. But in uni, my father was crazy. We order the fish bowl. Eh, we drink See, it. I miss dancing, I'm singing. Not gonna lie from that but time. but to be fair, yeah, I feel like the the people who made Bloomba like fun don't want to be a Bloomba anymore. Like I feel like they are all they're out of it. Yeah. They, they moved on. Yeah, they moved on. Yeah, That's so now it's not giving like that anymore. But hey, they said, did any lecturer try anything with you? No. Me, yeah, why you never experienced that? Yeah. yeah. Try that thing with me. And me, my lecturers in level 400, like level 400 was when I had, level 400, 300 was when I had a really close relationship with my lecturers because it's theater and we were six. The whole class. Hey. We were just six. So oh, of course, the lecturers were so we were, were we six, six or nine, one of them. But it was a very small class. And even as we got to level, like level 400, it became smaller. And they were just, there were two females. Like, so I don't know, like I never encountered, yeah. I never encountered that. And I feel like even if I did, it wasn't on a deep level. Like those things that you don't notice till you think back yeah. on like, oh, this person was moving to me. But yeah, it's not like, it I wasn't, wasn't yeah. I didn't deep it. Like it's not like it wasn't a big deal, but like, you didn't mean I didn't even realize, realize that that's yeah. what was happening until I went home to sit down and I was like, hey, so this what is what you were trying to <laughs> But yeah, it's nothing nothing I can really think of. Did you get into a fight with somebody in school? Like a fiscal fight? Yeah. No. Me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did I get into a fiscal no no no? I can't fight. Even verbal like shouting, screaming, yeah. no. Yeah. No. Not that I remember. Actually, not that I remember. Compare your style from when you were in level 100 to when you got to level 400. I think that's an interesting question. Me, me, my style, my style improved after school. I'm mm. not even going to lie. Like, right now, my style is just different from who I was in uh, mm. uni. 
in uni i was just some joint girl like i didn't know how to dress same <laughs> i didn't know how to dress i didn't even know how to do my makeup mm. i was just wearing skimpy 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 stuff but even now the skimpy things i wear are way better than what i was wearing yeah. in uni i feel like i matured like i matured I years after year. like school mm. even the first year after completion when you complete uni you feel like oh like you know fresh graduates like all of that me i don't feel like that yeah because after a year that's how i felt but after some time i was like i'm like i'm out of it i'm over it now i just have to find my true self Mm. so if you met the gisela in legon and the gisela in 2023 you can tell that they are two Two different different people people. i mean it's crazy for me because i feel like my transition was so quick because it was everything happened in the span of my uni life Mm. like i feel because i just finished uni this year and come on look at me girl her don't play <laughs> <laughs> but like if i show you my picture from level 100 like pictures i used to take level 100 i dare to say even like level yeah level 100 going to level 200 the glow up is real it's very real like, <laughs> around that time i feel like level 300 when i when i started living on my own you know and i feel like it happened like you see because you also started living on your own like yes, after exactly. you i feel like yeah. those experiences it's, just, it's like yeah. maybe i phased into life really quick quicker than even some of my peers i should say of course yeah so it's like i had to grow up like i can't yeah. explain like so the things maybe some of my people were thinking about i wasn't thinking about, about it. like i was time. my mind was just like you were so far gone i was so far gone yeah. like you get so me i feel like i was just quick like 100 300 like asa malaika and all of that yeah i was like okay i started seeing that okay this is happening yeah by god's grace <laughs> we are here today <laughs> the glow up is here it's here baby because <laughs> yo what was happening before your way is great my oh, worst, yeah, my worst grade. Eh, eh, yeah. You feel like you, you feel in uni and you reset. Oh. <laughs> and the thing about uni is when you have a reset, you, you don't be shy. Yeah, me don't me. be shy. You know, in SHS when you feel the course, like, like it's like embarrassing. You. But uni, you will fail. You go and meet about fifty people in the in, in JQB writing and reading. Me, I have Fifteen is even small. Yeah. You know economics. You know exactly. it's a whole class. Like failing in uni is not a big deal at all. Don't even like. Mm. Don't even deep it overthink it when you feel uni is just like uni is very i don't care yeah. nobody cares about you I, like no matter how self-conscious you are nobody gives a fuck about yeah. everybody's minding their business mm-hmm. like the only time they care about you is when you have sex with someone yeah <laughs> Damn, and it's mostly the guys. yeah apart from that they don't care about your grades they don't care about how you're doing in class they don't care about your academics like they just care about who you're sleeping with so when it's you so feel dumb. like <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense when you fail, please go and write your receipt and then complete go your with your chest. Ah, like, where your bright dress. Because you go and meet your crush in there, like. Promise you. Somebody said, I've been told Matilda had a lot of female crushes in school. How true is that? Hey, I think. I think like. Her dressing as a stud made the ladies wild. Wow, they thought I dressed like a stud. That's <laughs> wild. Like, that's actually something. But that was in uni. That was. SHS. Me, I'm had phases with really? like I was a tomboy yeah. in SHS. Like I even used to act as a boy. Like really? when you know SHS a girl school, so like I was the male character always. Mm. And I did theatre art, so that's even where the acting thing came and my my father acted and those things. So so look guys, I can act like a boy and you believe me. You are actually very girly, so it's hard to believe. And I was not like this in high school. Really? So people from my high school are probably seeing me like they you never expected it, it probably yeah. because me i wasn't girl you i was i didn't care too much like the person that was popular when i was in shs was mahalia because mm-hmm. like she already started social media and stuff yeah. but me i was like i didn't give a fuck i was like i wasn't caring about my appearance like my eye my shirts barely would i even iron it okay i wasn't dirty yeah but i wasn't like self-conscious yeah i wasn't self-conscious like yeah, so yeah, maybe I was it. But the girls, yeah, people used to write me letters. Like, oh I, I, I admire, admire, that's what they call it. Like, they admire me and stuff. <laughs> oh, no, but that's cute. But, but, what are you but, saying? Oh, but when you're, when you're in school, like, especially when you're in a girl's school, mm-hmm. you should expect those things. If True. somebody doesn't move to you, question yourself. Sit down and ask yourself, God, am I beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, maybe you just don't have, you know, some people Girl, don't have that or. I feel that be for real. If it's just like as a woman, in a man, no man has ever. Hey, so you are sending someone, you are giving someone heart, heart palpitations at home, literally, because this is what you are saying, this is what you have to be cautious. As you are saying, nobody has even said you. Oh! <laughs> Don't mind, Zella, I'm not on that side of the table. You are beautiful just the way you are. Zella is oh, mean. you are, you are, but Zella is mean. Like, deep it. Just <laughs> deep it. They say you are who you attract, so maybe. There are people she's attracted, she's not coming into contact mm, with I don't know, this one, yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe nah. she attracts the Arab billionaires and nah. she, she's not going to Dubai. Masa, if Ghanaian man is not moving to you, Arab is not moving to you. How were you earning money before influencing? Hell, oh, that's actually a very interesting story. Go first, go first. I wasn't earning. Like, you were broke. <laughs> no, I was broke. Are you serious? I was broke, my God. I- <laughs> See, that's crazy. My level of broke was my mom sending me 200 CDs a week in school. The girl, you were not broke, trust me. That's no, my, no my, again, my story. My, <laughs> trust me. my level of broke was I can't afford a week. That's yeah. not much a month. Almost in one key. I can't afford, and she used to send it every Sunday. I can't afford, like, I couldn't afford what I can afford now. That's why every time I talk about my progress in life, I'm very emotional about it because I'm like, Bro, I'm 24 years old. Nobody takes care of me. As I'm seeing it right now, I don't mind the last time my mother said, he sent me money. Mm-hmm. And I don't have a father in my life to say, oh, my dad has been giving me money. Yeah. Everything you guys have seen me do is from my own pocket. Unless I mention that, oh, princess bought it for me or my cousin bought it for me. Like, everything, mm-hmm. or my boyfriend bought it for me. Everything you guys have been seeing me do is out of my own pocket. So, it's like a great um, level of growth. Yeah. yeah. For me, but in uni, everybody. <laughs> Sometimes I was so hungry, mm-hmm. like... And I don't have money. I'm broke. Our provisions are finished. Like, so what? What are we going to eat? Like for dinner? Like, what will we eat? <laughs> I can relate to this so much because <clears throat> this girl, she even had more money than me. <laughs> me, they used to give me five hundred CDs a month. You saying two hundred CDs a week and you were broke? <laughs> Do you know? You let me tell you this one. I've never said it before. So your channel was eating good <laughs> because I've never opened my me open my mouth say this. I literally used to beg people. Who were pa- like I was in TFM level hundred especially mm. so oh. I used to literally beg people to drop me off at TF. So like if you are driving past Pent and you stop on a bus stop oh and I'm standing there with my God. friends, I'm like, oh please, can you take me to? <laughs> <laughs> ah, what? I swear, like I I literally and it's not like my parents were poor or anything. I just need me me me. I need money. money. And like my parents would teach you how to manage. That's one mm-hmm, thing. So yeah. it's like. Yeah, that was that was mine, and I didn't want to walk, so that was what I was doing. Oh my god, bro! And five hundred CDs is nothing. Trust yes, me, it's that nothing. thing was just leaving, and oh, they gave me provisions as well. Because like, couples food is week. expensive too. But I wasn't cooking anything first of all, and like, bro, it wasn't easy. So the first thing I did, I said, no, I have to come out of this. This is the trenches. Yeah, What's yeah. this? <laughs> the first business I started was I started revamping weights. Can you believe I used to revamp weights? <laughs> I went to the internet, so we find so I I think I had like two or three clients then i stopped mm-hmm. revamping i was like mm, this is this is getting the ghetto you know? so i decided to stop selling hair dye i think i stopped like i started managing i was just like you know what, whatever then i think covid time i started doing hair dye like selling hair dye so i had a page it was called what something colors oh my god so you were like your selling. crown fix like i literally was going into hair because i mean <laughs> from hair revamping yeah. to now dyeing hair so like i was sitting Hair dye, like the one that you can spray on your head. Yeah, the temporal one. The temporal one that you can spray on your head and things like that. So I was selling that. And then I wanted to also go into like actually dyeing wigs like for people yeah. and stuff like that. But that didn't happen. Thank God, because that was not my calling. Like <laughs> <laughs> the things I would do, no, oh my God. That's so funny. Sometimes I don't look back at it and I'm like, oh my God, I'm here now. Because like literally, even me, I'm, I'm thinking of myself and everything. Yeah. Like, Literally everything that you also see me do is from my pocket, like, Her. and it's like it's so crazy because yeah. it's like, wow, I used to do this and now I'm doing <laughs> yeah, this, and I'm so like, bro. oh my god, so broke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like a people in uni, it's normal for you to start a business. When I was in uni, I also had a business. I used to sell bags and necklaces. Mm. I did it for a while actually, but mm. later on, I was like, mm, I'm not that type of girl yeah, to be yeah. selling things. And to be very honest, uni, the hunger will push you to start a business. You. Like, what, well, 80% of girls go to, even boys, some of you sell slides, some of you, like, go into You're businesses. Hustling. Yeah, <laughs> which is very fine. Yeah. Don't be embarrassed to I do don't that. Like, you should do be. it, because yeah. the, the hunger will push you to do it. Yeah. Uni, you don't have a job. True. You are not an influencer. You don't have side And gigs. except your parents are, like, giving you crazy allowance. And you know the funny <laughs> thing? I, I, I feel like influencing just became a major thing in Ghana, like, recently. Yeah. The time I was in uni, it was there were thing. no influencers. So, that idea didn't pop up in anybody. Mm-hmm. And even the people who were influencing at that time were not taking the money that we are taking yeah, now. Yeah, true. So, Charlie, 
So I was sorry, I'm not panna wound the day, and now we do me as nobody will tell you to go to a crash and try to yeah, look for some raw materials, come and mix themselves. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> but like I'm so grateful. Like now that I've never really sat back to think about it like this. Like I yeah. used to laugh at my friends because my friends too, we always say each other, we're broken union. You know, <laughs> and things we used to do, like it's so embarrassing. So has anyone stolen any of your stuff in school or did you lose anything in school? They just start going missing. <laughs> this one, the way the battery is five percent. <laughs> no, you just go on. So, so basically, there was a time like around the time I was also hungry, mm. so I was looking for any way and anyhow to make money. Mm -hmm. So my friend left Ghana. She left like level two hundred or so, level hundred. Mm -hmm. She, she went outside mm -hmm. to school. Mm -hmm. You know those things. So her room was vacant, mm -hmm. and she hadn't told the school that she had left. Mm -hmm. So her bed was vacant, right? So I texted her. I was like, Oh, can I sell your bed? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I sell your bed? She was like, yeah, oh, like, she didn't have an like, issue with it. So I said, okay, I'll sell her bed. I put it on my WhatsApp status. I said, two in a room, four in a room, bed, sounds like something. Yeah. Going for a cool price. <laughs> I go and buy out. Um, I don't know how much I sold it for. I think I sold it for like 3K. And trust me, mm. at that time, 3K was money. 3K was money. Hey, I would I would have been jumping. I don't think I had ever held three k before. Like yeah, so I don't know if I sold it for three or four k. I don't know how much, but I sold it for quite a number, uh, lots of money. And the day she moved in, she gave me half the money. Mm. And when she moved in, now my friends' roommates were being funny. Wow. It's like they didn't want another person in the room. Ah, uh. so I told her to give me half the money. And when she successfully is like finally settled, she gave me gives me the other half. So that day, I think she gave me maybe one k. Oh, yeah, 2k. I was happy. It was February. It was around my birthday, too. I went to my friend's room with pens. I was like, Yeah, we made some cash. <laughs> then, then, then I was excited. So that evening, she was even like, I should sleep in her room because she was at pens and I was still at TF. I was like, Oh, nah, I'm tired. I'll just go to my room or something. So she escorted me to the bus stop and I took my taxi and I went to pen. So I got to my hostel <laughs> and I checked and I was like, Ah, where's the money? Are you serious? I'm serious. I checked. I I I think I I was sprinting down the stairs. I came. I went downstairs. The taxi was, it was midnight. Two k. And it was a um. I put it like in an envelope. And it was in another bag. So I think because I was holding plenty things, I probably left that bag. And I was sitting in front too. I got down. Got upstairs. I didn't see the money. Sadly, too, it wasn't a campus taxi because usually the campus taxis apparently they like. They, they don't they don't steal and stuff like that. Like yeah. they get something, yeah, they'll get it back. It was so many nights. Also, so a Sunday. It wasn't a working day for them. Ah, I thought that took. And guess months. guess what was bad? Guess what was bad? The girl, the, the, the people in the in my friend's room went to report me to the Bali president that I've come to sell a bit. So they sent the girl and they said I should pay the girl the money. When, me me at that time. What? Where am I going to get serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? I promise it was the most one of the most depressive stages of my so life. What did you do? How did you? It took me over a year to pay her. Maybe six months to pay her. No, actually, it took me over a year. I'm not even capping. Like, because at that time, where am I going? And thankfully, she wasn't like, I know she wasn't always like budgeting. Yeah, me. on your She was very patient, and I paid her in installments. Like. Almost oh my god, months. I'm so sorry. You don't know, you need to go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through hell. hell it was now that's crazy. Time. It wasn't easy, trust me. It was traumatic. Now that's crazy. 2K. Even now, if I lose 2K, I'll go mad. <laughs> the money that I was dancing about for. So, who, 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 who took it? Do you know who took it or anything? Definitely the taxi driver. Oh. Because I'm sh I don't know. Either the taxi driver or whoever sat next. Like, I don't even know. But That's so crazy. It's vanished. Oh. Thank God I didn't take the full money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, even me, I never experienced a, a case of theft, mm. but my roommates did. She was going, you know, we were, we were all at City Campus, by the way. So she was going to. Oh, you were at City Campus? Yeah. You have never experienced that. Oh. Is it stress? Is not, it? It's not in I've never even seen the City Campus before. Oh, it's like in Accra Central, like somewhere there. But it's not mm. like anything fancy or anything like that. So she was going to school, right? And then when she sat in the car, the driver told her to open from the back also, like open the door from mm. the back and then she just picked her bag and just left. When she got to class, she realized her phone was no longer in her bag. Ah, uh how? -huh. So the driver probably took the phone from her bag when she was getting down. I mean, it wasn't in any proper like... Yeah. 
so that's how she lost her first phone like she mm. was so stressed that for like the, i think the first semester also she didn't have a phone oh shale <laughs> me phone is not easy when you don't have it it's painful <laughs> because in uni not everybody has a a laptop mm-hmm. not everybody has a laptop yeah. so you'll be using your phone for presentations and blah 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 homework and i said homework assignments and assignments, all of that yeah so you're like what am i going to do you mm-hmm. have to be borrowing your friend's laptop oh my god me cry uni i didn't have a laptop oh. i also didn't have a laptop till like i got my laptop after uni yeah i also got okay me i got my first how did i even get that laptop i think yeah somebody actually gave me a laptop mm. uni. but like it was like my third year oh like, yeah. almost final year but well, then we suffered in school <laughs> <laughs> no because i bought my first laptop with my own money after school when i was in uni i didn't have a laptop and i wasn't even using an iphone in uni i was using um no i actually got an iphone mm-hmm. in level 200 or 300 mm-hmm. but when i first entered school i was using oh um oh god there's this name it yeah, was a very popular phone at that time no it wasn't lenovo if i do remember i'll put it on the screen Infinix. I was using an Infinix. <laughs> I was just <laughs> I was using an Infinix in level hundred and two hundred, and I got an iPhone. Oh, mm-hmm. Shelly, we struggled. We struggled. Honestly, because even my first proper iPhone, I bought it myself. Because I think I had an iPhone five mm. that I got. Like someone, I think my sister used to use the phone. Mm. The, the first iPhone five I ever mm. used. My sister used to use it. And that time, iPhone five it was trend, just, like yeah, it was old. old. So I just holding it around. So when I, I think I bought the iPhone twelve when it came out fresh. Ish. I saved money. I was like, okay, and you have mm-hmm. to get it. <laughs> <sighs> so then we've suffered. We've suffered. We're asking if girls gossip. Okay, there are two questions actually. Let me ask this one first. Um, do a lot of girls gossip in uni? Me, I think it's the men. Yeah, I think. I, think I, think honestly, the men. I think honestly, I think everybody gossips. But, but, but the men over do. Men actually gossip. Men over but, but they don't think it's good. They, in their mind, it's, it's all gossiping. Gossip. But hey, a man who goes stand there, this girl, then then then, then this girl if he was even moving to me. Because you, all you did was say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> they were liars. Oh my hey. god. And then they, they are also asking if you had a, a girl squad in school. Yeah. Oh, I, I did, did actually. Yeah. yeah. Who do you I think did. I was going to bloom by with every Friday? I did, but like, <laughs> I think the squad also kind of dissolved for me. Like, and we even stopped talking, but we're friends now. But like, we, we, we fell off. You know, like, that's, that's like, I feel like it's a life transition <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> I didn't I didn't fall out of mm-hmm. friendship with my friends, mm-hmm. but we are not as close as we used to be mm. in uni. Mm. Like now the friends I'm close to are like different mm. from the group of friends I that had in you. uni. That is not me saying that oh I cut them off. Oh, I didn't cut them off. They are still there. Like we still talk and everything. I mean when I bought my car, I even told them that mm. oh you guys I have a car blah blah blah. So how ah, do your people know now? Oh by now they'll know. After this video don't because Princess said it in her video on Princess ah, right, video right, on my right, because so. the way you just can't <laughs> say it. I'm not gonna be like, wait, what? <laughs> no, but they don't know because Princess is posting them anyway. So mm. my friendship just like it's not as mm. we just don't oh my god, have you heard this yeah. thing? But if we meet or oh, sometimes they visit me, I visit them. But that's just about it. But when something happens, the first person I call is not those ah, group of friends. I did the ones. I remember I used to watch your vlogs from that time when you did some birthday thing. Yes, yes, the yes, yes. Yeah, they were the ones there. But like, I love them a lot too. Those are like my bridal train. Like when it comes to my yeah, bridal train, yeah, the, yeah. bridal train. Yeah, sorry to my new friends. <laughs> yeah, bridal oh, train is yeah, for like, those people. But like the you know the closeness is not, and I also think it's because of my line of work. Mm. My new friends are influencers. My best friend is an influencer. Mm. Junior is an also influencer. different for me though. She directly influences. Influence. Exactly, but me the thing is, um, we became close because of events. Mm. Every time there's an event, we are the ones they invite, yeah, yeah. and they usually don't give us like spare tickets for our mm-hmm. friends. Mm-hmm. So we will be the ones to go together, mm-hmm. and then that was just about it. Our friendship became like. Okay, it was yeah, growing. It was oh, growing. Yeah, so as compared to and then my friends, my other friends, they don't like going out. They mm-hmm. only go out maybe bloom day party mm-hmm. or once in a while. But okay, they don't wow. go out as much as I do. Mm-hmm. And the places I go to, they don't go there. Mm-hmm. So they would rather be at home. Yeah. That's just how our friendship dissolved. But come on, the bloom by was all of us. Where the ones <laughs> going, like now they will come and post their schedule in the group for the weekend. That's crazy. Now I'll say where are we getting dresses from? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah, god, hey, that yeah. dresses thing. We used to, I used to go to boutiques just to get clothes, to, like to go to. To go out, yeah. Bar. Hey, but I used to buy from Instagram every week for Bloomba. 
Hey, if I don't have that guess, I'm going like out. 60 CDs. Yeah, 60, 60 CDs. CDs, 80 CDs. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. 400, 400 and things. You want to kill hey, us. The 400 I saw this Christmas. Yes. Hey, Charlie, why are you so like Right now, yeah, I'd rather sew. I'd rather sew an outfit. I will not buy. Or just buy yeah, it. You really only want to wear it. Exactly. So. Decorating your room and all of that. Hey, you want to go and, go and decorate your room in uni? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I decorated my room in uni. I thought that. You know me, right? We have a video. Yeah, I've seen that. I, I watched that video, but let's be serious. Your uni room is probably like one third of this place that we are in right now. Or even if it's like this, you have like four bad beds there. So, okay, well, yeah, it depends. It's a one in a room or two in a room. Yeah, if it's a two in a room, makes sense. Because yeah. me, at the point, I was actually staying on campus. Like, yeah. Like, when my parents left Ghana, that was my house. Mm. So I kind of had to spec it. Yeah. Was, of like, course, you didn't have a choice. Yeah. But then again, <laughs> when you're in uni, you don't have money to spec your room. Yeah, except me, I told you my transition was kind of quick. Yeah, imagine going from level 100 to not having any money to level 300, speaking your room. Yeah, I even had a car in uni. Oh, like that's actually crazy. <laughs> like, I thought you think about it. Yeah, that's actually yeah, wild. Yeah, someone said, What advice would, would you give to your level 100 self? Level 100 self. Maybe to study a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And not miss lectures as much. Mm -hmm. I feel like as a girl, yeah, especially, it's just attractive and very admirable when like you are balancing your social life with your education. education. It's very That's sexy. So I'm not even going to lie. Like, you know when you meet certain girls all the time, they are always out mm -hmm. and now you guys are graduating and yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, it's, it's so, like, like it's so beautiful, yeah. That one, dear, no matter where you are in life, that thing will be nice for you. Even yeah. when you're older and you have children, you want your children to be like that. Like, yeah. have a social life, of course. Social life is very important, important because that's where the experiences come from. Yeah. But and don't also, that's why you get to network and actually meet people. Meet people, like yeah, exactly. But don't, like, just stop going for lectures, like, just because you don't feel... I'm telling you, the lectures, at some point, you wouldn't want to go. Because even in JHS, sometimes you don't want to go to school, but your mother has to take yeah. you to school. Hey, but JHS, me, I used to like to go to school. Yeah, when it's hard, I'll be sad. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like school, though. What? I like school so much. Nah, me, I didn't like school. Me, I've never liked school, though. I that's why I said. SHS, that's why right? I said I don't want to do my master's even. Like, mm. I don't like school. Yeah. I don't like school. To be very honest, I don't like school. And then... Yeah, I'll just I'll just advise myself to learn more because the lectures now I was I wasn't there. Mm. Me, I would have more experiences because I feel like I I maybe because I also grew up too fast. I wasn't also I didn't do I don't have crazy. I wish I had crazy uni stories like yeah. this and that. Like, ah, sadly, but those are also I don't even think it's good advice because it could have been wild. Like it could have also scarred me. I could have been traumatized from oh, certain experiences. Master, you bounce back. What? Yes. What? What's so, the point? <laughs> that you can't bounce back. So, but yeah, but like I just feel like all in all, I don't know. Yeah, as you said, go to class, go to school, learn, study. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Don't say, oh, this assignment I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> don't miss your eyes. I didn't yes, miss your eyes. But yes. like, hey, those things. People miss eyes. Yeah, so that's bold. but you know why you miss I because you will not go for the class and the, that that lecture is wicked. So you okay, say yeah, we are right yeah, now. Yeah. But that's today. very bold, by the way. That's that's crazy bold. Mm. But yeah, so is that all? Yeah, that's it. Oh, this has been fun. Oh my god, it has. It has been so fun. Woo! I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. We didn't ask most of the questions because in our convos we answered some of them yeah. <laughs> without even <laughs> realizing. <laughs> But I really do hope you enjoyed watching this video. We have gone through a lot to set this camera up, to film this video. If you know the number of lights we have here, if you know the time that it is right now. <laughs> yes, if you know the time it is right now. The time we got here. 8.49 p.m. <laughs> like, don't even play with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed watching this. Maybe Matilda will come back on this channel if, if we do get another idea. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment for your girl. And yeah, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>